Hello everybody, welcome to Maths for Thursday, the 4th of February. And today we are learning to talk about capacity. Now I want you to pause the video and have a chat with your grown-up to see if you can, or anyone already knows what the word capacity means. Okay, have you had a think? It's a tricky word, you probably haven't heard of it before. Capacity means how much of something a container holds, how much it can hold. So um, you can talk about capacity of a room, how many people you can fit in there, the capacity of a lift, how many people you can get into a lift. You can talk about the capacity of your bath, how much water your bath holds. So capacity is all about how much a container will hold. And today we're going to think about small um, containers like mugs, glasses, jugs, that kind of thing. And we're going to um, use water to talk about capacity. Mrs Hilton has made two short videos for you, which she made last summer, that I'd like you to watch. And then when you've watched them, I've got a job for you to do at the end. Now, Mrs Hilton does talk about a worksheet on the website. Now, she made those videos last summer and last summer there was a worksheet on the website, but there isn't now. I don't want you to do that. I've got a different job for you to do, much more practical. So mums and dads will be pleased to know that today you'll be either using water or something else you can pour, like rice or beans or lentils, just something you can pour and lots of different containers. Water is probably the easiest and speaking from experience, rice is probably the most messy. So that's up to you, whatever's best for you. Now, before you watch the videos, we're going to talk about the vocabulary that we need to know when we talk about capacity. So vocabulary means the words we use, the correct words. So we're going to need to be using the word full, empty, half full, you can use the words half empty. It means the same, but half full sounds nicer. Almost empty, almost full. Or instead of the word almost, you can use nearly empty or nearly full. Okay, so they're the words you're going to need when we're talking about capacity. That's the vocabulary we're going to use. So watch the Mrs. Hilton's video first, the first one, and then have a go at experimenting uh, filling up containers so that they're full, empty, half full, just like she does in the video. And then when you've watched the second video, have a go at choosing lots of different containers and predicting, remember predicting means having a sensible guess, or in maths we use the word estimate, which is exactly the same, sensible guess. So predict or estimate which you think will hold the most water, which you think will hold the least. You could put them in order, which you think will hold the most and hold the least, and then test them. See if you were right. Okay, that sounds like an excellent fun job. Now, if at the moment it's not the right time to be messing about with water and rice and lentils and beans, then it is a job that you might want to do another time when it's a little bit more practical. So maybe at bath time or something like that. So it's up to you when you do it. Just talk to your grown up about that. OK, so remember, you're going to use all of these lovely words when you're talking about capacity and you're going to be doing some estimating which means predicting and having a sensible guess about different containers so have fun uh, play around with them let me know how you get on remember don't go looking for the worksheets that mrs hilton talks about because you won't find them they're not there anymore um, messing about with water and rice and lentils is much more fun than a worksheet so have a lovely time i'll see you all soon bye for now